Okay, here we've got the complete Marconi magnetic detector set up. This is the magnetic detector. This is, we have an amplifier here which will uh, amplify the output signal from it to where we can hear it. Um, the box in the background is the antenna tuner. What this is a high Q tune circuit that goes ahead and uh, matches the antenna onto the relatively low impedance of the uh, of the magnetic detector. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll start it up. Okay, we turn on the amplifier and we don't get anything out when it's not moving, but when we start it moving and the rockets are in hot pursuit. Isn't that incredible? Give it a little more crank here. Okay, that's the um, magnetic detector with the spring wound motor on it. Okay, let's connect up the model of the first magnetic detector that Marconi made. Okay, on this one, Marconi was supposedly staying in a hotel room and he didn't have much equipment or anything, so he made this detector in a cigar box. And this is a model of the first one. You can I have a picture on the website of the original. And this is a close copy of it. All right, we have it hooked up to, we've got it connected to the antenna tuner and the output to the amplifier. All right, let's see what it does. Now, this one does not have a motor. So the way you work it is you pull the thing back and forth by hand, a wire. The wire is connected to two handles and you pull it back and forth by hand to get the movement of the wire that it takes to make it work. All right, we'll turn the gain up. <clears throat> I'm just pulling the wire back and forth slowly. You have to pull it very evenly or else it doesn't, um, it distorts. Because it's working like a tape recorder, sort of, in reverse. If you pull it just the right speed and evenly, then you can hear the voice come in. If you pull it too fast, you get the uh, scratching noise. But that is what um, Marconi used in his first experiment with the magnetic detector to determine that the concept would work. That's it.